Tennessee lawmakers want to make sure that kids stay in physical classrooms after learning losses coming out of the pandemic. Some leaders have blamed virtual learning for that. They're backing a bill letting parents get vouchers for private school tuition if their public school district doesn't provide full-time in-person learning. Our state capitol reporter Gerald Harris is looking at the support this bill is getting. Spiking COVID cases in Tennessee has put a strain on many school districts in the state. It has been a struggle this year because of, you know, the uncertainties of COVID, the, the sicknesses that go around. Uh, we've had some issues with transportation, finding bus drivers. Dixon County isn't alone in adjusting to increases in illnesses. Several school districts have applied to the Department of Education for waivers to participate in virtual learning. We're trying to provide that quality in-person education for all of our families as best we could. But uh, as we looked at numbers toward the end of the week, uh, we discussed a plan where we thought maybe, you know, if we could go virtual today, go virtual on Monday, <clears throat> that would give the, the week for, you know, some of those illnesses and sicknesses to get cleaned out. Lawmakers have opened the avenue to give parents vouchers if students are not in in-person learning for at least 180 days. Well, I'd support that. Key leaders like Lieutenant Governor Randy McNally and Speaker Cameron Sexton, both Republicans, are lining up to support the voucher push. Last year when you had Shelby County Schools close for the entire year and others close for a lot longer than 180 days, and those parents had no alternative to do anything with their kids and have them at home, or when you have virtual schools year-round and you're trying to have a kindergartner for eight hours a day in front of a computer, it doesn't work. Currently, state law allows waivers for five days of remote learning. Public school districts like Dixon County says their priority will continue to be quality in-person learning. We still believe that the best learning takes place before a professionally certified teacher at school. So uh, we know people have sicknesses. We know even our staff have sicknesses. So uh, we, we make every effort to be in school. Democratic lawmakers are opposed to the voucher plan saying no one should be punished for taking health measures during a pandemic. It's not what Tennessee families want and using it as punishment and, and threatening school systems who are doing their best to take care and keep their kids healthy and their teachers healthy. It's ridiculous. Reporting in Nashville, I'm Gerald Harris. Citing the pandemic, a House version makes parents in any school district eligible for those vouchers for three upcoming school years beginning in the fall.